Hi guys, it's me Yang and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to share recalls and mass to know for blood tanking. So yes guys, I have already uploaded a video about the immunology and serology. If you haven't seen that, please see the description below for the link. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Tayanara. I make videos for medtechs. So if you are interested, click the subscription button and also the notification bell give this video a thumbs up and you can share this to your friends so yes guys just the same with my other videos i am going to share 10 recalls and mass to know so if you're interested stay tuned to the video and without further ado let's get started so number one mass to know is the amount of the h substance from greatest to least and that is O is greater than A2, A2 is greater than B, B is greater than A to B, A to B is greater than A1, and A1 is greater than A1B. So, ganito ang order niya guys, from greatest to this, O, A2, B, A to B, A1, and A1B. So, paki-memorize na lang yun siya guys. Next guys, I am going to share a mnemonics of the order of the ISBT system number of the blood groups. So, I know you're quite familiar of this one, guys, pero isha-share ko pa rin siya sa inyo. So, the mnemonics goes like this. Ang mens po ni Rhea lumabas, kaya lang di kita Jago Y. So, that is the mnemonics, guys. Ang mens po ni Rhea lumabas, kaya lang di kita Jago Y. So, ang stands for ABO and it has an ISPT number of 001. Mens stands for MNS, that is 002. PO stands for P1PK that has an ISBT number of 003. RAYA stands for RH that is 004. LUMABAS stands for Lutheran that is 005. KAYA stands for KEL that is 006. LANG stands for LUIS and that is 007. So guys, we have Lutheran and LUIS that starts with letter L. So guys, hindi kayo malito dahil ang keyword natin for Lutheran is Lumabas. So the letter after the L is U. So it's Lumabas, Lutheran, and Lewis is for Lang. Okay? So Lang stands for Lewis with an ISBT of 007. D stands for Duffy, 008. Kita stands for Kid, 009. So we also have guys, two blood groups that starts with letter K. And we have Kel and Kid. So, hindi kayo guys malilito sa Kel and Kid dahil ang term natin for Kel is Kaya at ang Kid naman is Kita. So, the next letter after the K is I. So, Kita is for Kid. Then, Jago stands for Jago 010 and then Y stands for YP 011. Next guys, I am going to share to you a story about the antibody temperature's reactivity of the blood groups. So, our reference for this one is the Clinical Laboratory Science Review by Patsy. So yes guys, mas madali kasing malaman yung mga blood groups with cold antibodies and warm antibodies by a storytelling. So yes guys, sabayan nyo lang ako. We are going to start first sa mga cold antibodies. So let us start now. Let's go on a journey to help you associate blood group antibodies and their temperatures of reactivity. First, we are going to a place that is very cold. In your mind, you see yourself putting on a fur parka, gloves, and some very warm boots. Let's get in our kayak and start paddling. We paddle and paddle and just when you think you can paddle one more stroke, we finally reach land. Up ahead, we see an igloo. And we know that it is very cold here because the thermometer on the igloo reads 4 degrees Celsius. Suddenly, out of the igloo comes Louis, the Eskimo. We know he is a very friendly Eskimo because he says, Hi! This tells us that Louis, H, and I antibodies react in the cold. Next, we see the most amazing sight. Out of that same igloo comes a penguin, the number one penguin. And under his wing, he is carrying the biggest bag of m and candy you have ever seen. This tells us that P1, M, and N antibodies also react in the cold. So from our journey to the cold, we know that Lewis, H, I, P1, M, and N antibodies best react at 4 degrees Celsius. 
So, mas madali natin guys malalaman kung anong mga antibodies ang nagre-react sa cold or warm by this storytelling. Next guys, we will now go to the warm antibodies. To learn about antibodies that react at 37 degrees Celsius, we must travel to a different part of the world. Let's get in our kayak and paddle to jungle territory. We paddle for what seems like days. The sun is shining and it's getting warmer and warmer. We quickly shed our fur parka, gloves, and boots. It must be at least 37 degrees Celsius. Finally, we reach land and gaze at the jungle that lays before us. Up ahead, we see Jungle Jim reading a book about the restless monkeys he sees in the jungle. This tells us RH antibodies are seen at 37 degrees Celsius. Jungle Jim tells us there are other things in this environment that cannot be seen unless you look very closely. He takes us to the middle of the jungle. We hack our way through vines and branches until we come to a clearing. In the middle of the clearing, we see two big hats and a very tiny hat. The big hats have the owner's name on them. One belongs to the cows and the other belongs to the duffies. And the little one must be for their kids. So from our visit with the jungle gym, we know that RH antibodies can be seen directly at 37 degrees Celsius. But to see the kel, Davi, kid, and SS reactions, we must look further and we do this through antiglobulin testing. So yes guys, I want you to read that story for three times at makukuha nyo yung mga antibodies na nagre-react sa cold and warm. So ano nga guys yung mga antibodies na nagre-react sa cold? Mag-review nga tayo. Diba pumunta tayo sa pinakamalamig na lugar, may nakita tayong iglo. At sa iglo na yan, lumabas si Louis. So number one is Louis. And he says, hi! So H and I. And then after that, may lumabas na penguin. Number one penguin. So we have T1. And may dala siyang malaking M&M &M candy. So we have M&M. &M. So it says here guys, the antibodies, Louis, H, I, P1, M, and N best react at 4 degrees Celsius. So, what about guys sa warm antibodies? Pumunta tayo sa pinakamainit na lugar. Nakita natin si Jungle Jim. Nagbabasa siya ng libro. What? The Resus Monkey. So, so Resus stands for the RH. Madali natin nakita ang RH. Pero, sabi ni Jungle Jim, Okay, may makikita pa daw tayo once we explore. Okay, so nag-explore tayo at may nakita tayong dalawang big hats and small hats. So that big hats belongs to the owner's name of Kel and Duffy. And the small hat belongs to their kids. Okay, we have kid and SS. So it says here guys na makikita natin ang RH directly at 37 degrees Celsius. But to see Kel, Duffy, kid, and SS reactions, we must look further and we do this by antiglobulin testing. Next, we will go now to the blood groups having IgG antibodies or IgM antibodies. So for IgG antibody, guys, we have the mnemonics of Rich Daring Kid Can Kill SS. So it stands for RH, Duffy, Kid, Kel, and SS. So sila guys yung may mga IgG antibodies. So what about, okay, yung mga may IgM antibodies? We don't have any mnemonics for this one, pero madali lang siya. We have the I, M, N, P, and Louis. Next guys, we will go now to the blood groups that exhibits dosage. So the mnemonics goes like this. Kids and Duffy the monkey eat lots of M and N's. Kid and Duffy is the monkey eat lots of M and N's. So it says is guys, yung mga blood groups na nag-exhibit ng dosage ay ang Kid, Duffy, RH, and M and N's. Okay guys, so let's go now guys to the blood groups that is enhanced by the enzymes or destroyed by the enzymes. So unahin na natin guys yung mga na-enhance ng enzymes. We have the Kid, RH, Lewis, I, and P1. So what about yung mga blood groups na na destroyed ng enzymes? We have the Duffy, M and S. Next, a blood group antibody that is associated with severe HDR, and that is the ABO antibodies. Next, a blood group antibodies that is associated with severe HDN, and that is the RH antibodies. Next, a blood group antibody that is associated with delayed HDR, and that is the KID antibody. 
And the last recalls for today guys, antibody that is possessed by a Bombay phenotype individual is the anti-A, anti-B, and anti-H. So that's it guys for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope na makakatulong to sa inyo. So yes guys, masyadong maraming mga mnemonics at storytelling. But I hope that this helps you a lot. So yes guys, give this video a thumbs up. And for the giveaway and for more information, just refer to the description below. So my next video guys will be about GenPath. If you are interested, be updated by following me on my social media account, especially the Twitter. And also be notified by clicking the notification bell so you will be updated for my next upload. So yes guys, thank you so much for watching. See you in my next one. Bye!